tie. So today, we got a tire, it's got a bubble in it. So we're going to see how much air it takes to blow a tire off the rim. Uh, we're going to do this safely. You'll see me. I'll be standing clear and off to the side. Got all my proper safety equipment on, long sleeve shirt, boots, and pants. Yeah, the stuff you need. So I got the, uh, the airline clipped onto the valve so I don't need to stand next to it. We'll bring it up to uh, 150 pounds, and if that doesn't do it, we'll chop it with an axe. It'll get it off the rim. Here we go. There we go, move the tire over there. Let's see what we had. We had uh, uh, 125 pounds or so in there before it went. Let's go over here and check this. And uh, yeah, a substantial failure here. Got some steel cords coming out. This would have been nice if you were driving on the road. Pretty good, and uh, you might be wondering what kind of snow, what kind of tires we got here. These are, uh, can you read it here. We got some Dunlops. Can't beat the old Dunlop tire if you want to have some bubbles and and a blowout. And the uh, model we have is the Max Track Grip. I was running these for snow tires or a mud and snow 195, 75, 14 right there. Yep. So this tire has got about, uh, you can see the tread's pretty good. We got about 10,000 miles on this tire, ran it as a winter tire. And it uh, developed a, a little bit of a tread separation on there. That's all. Thanks for watching. Bye.